You've got a lot of photos and you want to make reels. Well, here's how to make reels with multiple photos. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. First of all, I suggest that you choose photos that go well together. So sticking to a theme or a color scheme or an event, some kind of way that you can add storytelling to your photos is going to help make your reel more engaging. So to start off, I'm going to locate my photos on my phone or if you have your photos somewhere on Google, Google Drive, you can download your photos. So to download photos from your Google Drive, you just have to go to your drive and then locate your photos. So I'm going to go into here. So once you're in your album, you just click on the photo, you make it big, and then you hold, press down on the photo and it's going to ask you to save to camera roll. So just press OK and it's going to save that photo onto your camera roll. To add multiple photos to your reel, you're going to go into Reels and then you're going to swipe up. You're going to see at the top there's going to be a few options. You have a green screen option and then you have this box with a box outside of it. That represents adding multiple photos. So if I click on that, you see that there's going to be this circle that arrives on each of the photos. So it's going to allow me to select more than one photo. So I'm going to press that square and I'm going to select the photos that I want to use. You can see it's going to number them for you and then they're going to appear here at the bottom. So click next. Once I click next, it's going to allow me to go through each photo individually and scale the photo so I can pinch my fingers to zoom in, zoom out, and then I can change the duration of the photos. So I can just use these bars there you go, and you can add, and then it's going to go through all the photos and it's going to allow you to change the duration of them. So I'm just going to adjust them, there you go. So all my photos are now in the timeline. I can preview them and see how it skips between the photos. So now I can add some music to make the video more engaging. So to add music, I'm going to click on the music note, I'm going to select music, and I'm going to find something that I like. So now that we have the photos, we have the music, I suggest going through and just fine tuning it so that it goes with the music. So to do that, I can press edit clips. First of all, I can reorder my clips, which will allow me to choose when I want each photo to start. And so for this, I kind of want to have some kind of a story. So let's say we start from outside of the water, just relaxing. A kiss, and then we go under, and then I'm going to put me in between so it's not just Ryan. So there we go, it switches between us, and we have a bunch of the photos. Say this first photo, I no longer want to use that, I just want to do the other ones. Actually, let's say the third one. Let's get rid of this third one. We're going to use those two. So to get rid of a photo, I'm just going to done add it here. I'm going to click on the photo that I no longer want, and then I can press delete. So it's going to discard that photo and then now I'm left with six photos. So to adjust the photos so they make more sense with the music, so they go with the music, I'm just going to start to edit my photo. So if I press play, I can hear my audio. See, so I'm listening for the beat. When I hear the beat, that's where I want to trim it to. I suggest you extend it so you can hear where the beat is and then you can adjust it. As I look through the entire thing, I can see do I like how it matches, does it go well together, and then if it does, I can just leave it, or I can go in and I can adjust each of them individually. So say I'm happy with that, I like my reel, and there you go, I'm done. I've created a reel with multiple photos. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you inspiration of what you can do with your reels. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every week. Until next time, peace!